Hey guys, how are you doing today? Um, today I'll be doing a quick rundown of the cost of Toshiba option on how the uh, how the option looks like, and for those who's planning to buy this game, and uh, and for those who is um, curious about how the option looks like, so I'll try to do or I'll try to walk you around on how it looks like so let's uh, let us get started so um, and goes of Tsushima there are different types of option like uh, similar to other games and as you can see here there are four options which is the gameplay the audio accessibility and the display so for the first option we have this gameplay um, option and if you can uh, see here um, so uh, just a quick um, um, just a update so uh, the soccer punch just released the latest patch which is the 1.05 patch and um, before before the patch was added we only have three difficulty levels which is the easy mode the medium mode and the hard mode uh, but for today i think the sucker punch offers more challenging level for those who's for those player who is looking for more um more uh, for next level of difficulty and which um which is uh they can actually try by trying this new level which is the lethal mode and uh, according to what i've read um since the enemies uh will uh will become more uh will become more strong their character um does as well so um I haven't tried this mode yet, but I'm planning to try it as I move forward with the game, and I'll try to also upload the walkthrough walkthrough of it on my next videos. And aside from difficulty, uh, we can also adjust the camera speed. We have four selections here, and the photo mode. Um, as you can see on the right part, photo mode can be accessed by pressing the right arrow keys. Um, this mode has been used on previous uh, games um, prior to this game. Um, I can name one, which is the Witcher 3. And also, uh, photo mode has been also an added feature for for like um for other open world games that i have played like um horizon zero dawn and then um uncharted it's not an open world but they are using bottom mode um the last of us um god of war i think and for, for those who uh, whose purpose is to capture what is or to capture surroundings of the game while playing so this is definitely the mode that you're looking to because uh, you can o you can also use this mode uh, if you're if you wanted to um, if you wanted to get a wallpaper and this is a really p perfect mode for you so um, aside from the gameplay option we'll jump to the audio um this is the really cool really cool part um because uh, even if you're using um, home theater or built-in speakers uh, on your tv or you're using headphones um, this game offers different selection which you can see here this one soundbar night mode 
I am not sure what sound night mode is, but I'll try it next time. And for those who's using headphones or a player who's using headphones like me, I recommend you to try these headphones through the audio mode because based on my experience this offers a lot uh, this offers more immersive experience while playing the game and uh, based on my experience uh, it's um, it's very um, it's very realistic so but sarap niya sa tenga pahinggan um, action um, you can uh, feel the wind while playing this game and you can uh, you can hear the surroundings the um yung um tunog ng samurai kapag sa combat um, this was a uh, best option that you can choose when you're playing in headphones you can also um, change the audio language i think this is uh, also one of the best features of the game um, you can adjust it, it to english and to be more realistic you can also change it to japanese language which i'll try to show you also on my next video um, on how it looks like when the language is Japanese, especially when you're when you're using English as the audio language when playing. Um, wait. Um, okay. So um, text language also has different characters that you can choose. I'm not familiar with this alphabet. <laughs> and um you can uh, uh turn the subtitles on and off adjust the volume and if you want to reset it to defaults you can press this one the third one will be the accessibility which is very helpful for players who is um having challenges playing the game um they may have problems with uh with their hearing or um, or um, or their or their um, eyesight, um, this option is very helpful. Um, with the release of patch 1.05, they've added this subtitle names in order for players to figure out who's talking, uh, uh, who's talking, and I'll choose to turn this on for me to see how this looks like because uh, kasi before like yung lines lang yung makikita mo when someone is speaking wala yung character hindi naka hindi naka or hindi pinapakita ko kasi no yung character yung nagsasalita on the text but you can adjust this and set this um the subtitle names to on and uh, before subtitle colors is by default so white lang siya okay, and now adjust it to different types of color um, on how you like it but I prefer to still stick with the original subtitle co text color you can also you can also uh, enlarge the text if you're if you are having difficulties reading small text and this one simplified controls toggle button holds aim assist so that um, it will be more easier for you to if you if you if you're having uh, if you find it hard to um, if you have if you um, if you find it hard um, targeting an opponent with your bows and arrow um, this aim assist will be really helpful if you turn this on and project, uh, projectile indicator as well um, this give you a warning like if someone will attack you on the game um, you will show um, there will be an option or there will be a sign that uh, 
an attack is coming so uh, if you fer prefer to uh, use this option or maximize this option you can choose to turn this on and uh, adding to your immersive experience while playing this game uh, you can turn this on if you like to feel uh, the vibration <laughs> um, I can say that um, yes uh, yes it to add um, to add realistic to the experience and yes um, I felt the samurai like uh, when uh, when um, the game is uh, is on the combat mode I feel the um, that's when when the samurai um, clash together so uh, I recommend you to turn this on and for this one let me read the description okay I'll try to turn this off since I'm more into um, challenges or difficulty it's up to you if, if, if you'd like to adjust this last one and last but not the least we have this display option um, we can adjust the brightness and um, this one this is the part of the game which I found very interesting um, so um, this Kurosawa mode offers players to experience a Japanese type or cinematic type of gameplay and uh, we, I know uh, or we know uh, based on uh, my experience uh, like um, this mode is something to uh, look forward to um, as you can re read on the description um, um, once you turn this on so um, the game will be in a black and white filter so um, this is re uh, you can actually feel the uh, immersive you can actually feel an immersive experience when you turn this on um, if you have watched a Japanese uh, old Japanese movies they are using a black and white filter and uh, I recommend you and I haven't tried it yet but I'll try it on my next video as well to show you um, this um, this Kurosawa mode is uh, something new um, for for the gamers and this feature is also empas has been also um, one of the things that um, that uh, all the players were looking into um, say, um, even before the game wasn't released so I'll show you I'll try to turn this on on my next video uh, so we can um, so we can experience it together and um, shady style show mask and cuts and cut scenes and the last one will be show blood options if you're um, I think this option will be helpful for those players who is um, who is not that violent or who is a PG style player they can turn this off but if you like core violence or some like um, yung mapapawaw ka or <laughs> yung masasabi mo sobrang astig you, will, you can turn this on um, I choose to turn this on so there you go um, this is the four options uh, the outside part of Ghost of Tsushima option if you're interested or if you're curious about it um, we have a quick rundown on this and uh, based on my experience uh, being a gamer for almost decade and a half dec decade and a half um, this open world game is the best game that i have played with so for those of you who is uh, looking 
forward to the release of PS5 this holiday. So before you uh, before you purchase one, I recommend you to try this first. I know that it will it, this will have a PS4 version, but um, since this is the hottest game uh, of this year right now, I recommend you to try this and uh, you won't regret buying this game. Um, on my next video, we'll try to uh, or I'll try to show you how the option or additional feature looks like. Um, so um, please stick with me and um, let us um, um, meet you on my next video.